Ardina yesterday morning. Officers say the victim was in a car in the Harbor Gateway area near South Ainsworth Street near West 155th Street around 11.30 a.m. Investigators say she was approached by a man who got out of another car and opened fire. Police say there was a second person with her in the car. It's unclear who was driving. The victim's car stopped a few blocks away near Vermont Avenue and Redondo Beach Boulevard. The woman was pronounced dead at the scene. Police say she's in her 20s. They have not released her identity. The second person was not hurt. It's unclear what led up to the shooting. Yeah, what's good? What's up? What's up? We got another one. R.I.P. to Serenity Zane Gershon. She was killed while she was sitting in her car in Gardena. She was born November 15th, 1991. She had two beautiful, gorgeous kids. She was in the car with somebody else and somebody put up and she was the target. The question you would think was, was it gang related or was it a jealous ex? In these situations, it get tricky because you know damn well, they, they not about to do no research and go into in depth and even break down this. This is damn near an unsolved mystery. It's been two weeks and only one news covered the story. It was a short clip, but it's crazy because when I did my research, I looked her up. I seen she was, she was about that life. She was cripping. So she chose that life. And I'm not saying her, her death was evolving around gang related. It could have been a jealous ex. She could have moved on and, uh, Nigga didn't want to, you know, some people ain't about to just let some females go. They had kill her before they, they see somebody else with her. And that's what a lot of females, they don't understand. Like, they, they be dating these dudes who, like, who doing all this evil shit. And they thinking, like, he ain't going to do no evil shit to her, like, eventually. It's just a matter of time before it just catch up to you. But a lot of females, they get trapped and caught up into the life. As well, where they blinded, they just the blind leading the blind. We got the most dysfunctional families ever. Either the dad don't want to be there because he don't want to be there, or he join a gang, go to prison, get life, or get killed. The mom join a gang, get life, get killed, or she choose the street life over her kids. Even if they don't get life, it'll still be like just in and out of jail, in and out of jail, three years here, four years here, five years there. Just a just a cycle. So the kid growing up where like they practically damn near raising they self and they looking for love elsewhere. A lot of them turn to the streets. Some of them give up the temptation of people needing new members thirsty for new members, putting on anybody, like persuading people. Like it's, it's just the, the cycle, like it, it never stopped. It's just a cycle where like the, the evil spirit is just lurking and it's just going in and out of people. Once a person died, them evil spirits hopping off that body and then hopping back into that person. But, um, you know, I just wanted to give a RIP to the sister she was 30 years old. R.I.P. May God be with your family and all your loved ones.